All chocolate lovers agree that every day is a good day to eat chocolate. Three Bemidji-based uh, charitable organizations agree with that, and every year they plan a special fundraiser called the Chocolate Affair, and they invite area cooks and bakers to prepare their favorite chocolate creation, and on the day of the event, the public is invited to come in for a small fee, they can taste some great chocolate creations, and then vote on their favorite. And at the most recent chocolate affair, Jeanette Pru mm -hmm. and Carla Mandrell created a raspberry forest cake that was the people's choice. And so they're here today to tell us a little bit about it and show us about what the secret is that mm -hmm. you, you really think made it the favorite. I think it was the ganache. I think you're right. I do. Tell us what ganache is. Ganache really is a frosting, but it's, there's no sugar in it. It's just cream and butter and chocolate, you know, like really good ingredients. Yeah, sounds like fudge to yes, me. Yes, it <laughs> is. <laughs> so you just heat those three ingredients yep. together. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> then what? Let me move these, Jeanette, and then okay. we'll be able to see exactly what you're doing here. It yeah. is very thick. Yes. Now, do you have to be careful that it doesn't get too thick? Can that ever happen? I think so. Okay. Um, and it doesn't spread as well. Okay, but we're just going to spread this on mm -hmm. like it was going to be our middle layer. Okay? All right. And because in the middle layer goes also on top of here fresh raspberries. Oh, my gosh. So, what a combination. Yes. Ugh. And then and then I put um, some wax paper here so we can do the, the side and we can get sloppy if we have to, and then we'll pull that out. So our platter that we have there mm -hmm. is really pretty. Oh, what a great tip. Yeah. So just slide it a little bit under the cake, and yep. then when it's firm, you can just pull it right out. That's wow. right. That's right. That's great. Okay, so a little bit of ganache. Yes. And then what? And then we're going to put some raspberries on the top of this, and then we would put our next layer of cake okay. on the top of that. And then cover the whole thing with ganache, and then we made little trees there and some raspberries. Now, were the trees also made from the ganache? No, oh, uh, just, just melted chocolate. Really oh, good chocolate, though. Wow, what a okay. great idea. And you could really use any kind of a cookie cutter, depending on the season, That's right. to make it hey, so appropriate. I never thought of that. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, it is beautiful. And I think people can see... See, it's that all middle, yep. the ganache, thick layer of ganache, right. I might add, <laughs> with the raspberries. It's just yeah. beautiful. Well, thank you. And just as always, Carla and Jeanette will share their recipe and we'll put it on our website, lakelandptv.org. Sure. Thank you, Jeanette. You're and welcome. thank you, Carla, for sharing your People's Choice recipe for raspberry forest cake. I'm Sue Doden, and I'm all about food.